So Alexis, welcome to the heat. We thought we'd get away from being from New South Wales, but it's uh, pretty hot down here at Bonio. Yeah, it's very warm. It's even even in New South Wales and Queensland, it's not like this. So it's really humid actually, and um, I'm hoping it's going to cool down for me in a little bit. So Alexis is first on in the CDIW with her beautiful fan who's about to bite me, Florino. Florino's 12 years old, a stallion, and you've had the ride for how long now? Um, I've had the ride for two years um, and he had come off a little bit of a break um, and I've, I've fallen in love with him. He's, he's amazing. Really, really fortunate. He, you've done an amazing job because he, I know he wasn't Grand Prix and never competed Grand Prix when you started and you blew me away here when I saw you for the first start at Bonio here. It was just spectacular. He just made it look easy as did you and that's the whole idea of the sport. Is he easy? Look, he is. He has so many highlights about him in general. He's a collection machine. Um, he's, you know, he, he's very much a one-horse person um, as far as riding goes. Um, but uh, he's, he has so many highlights about him um, that make Grand Prix easier. Make it, it makes it, makes it what it should be in a way. You're not trying to push a horse past its points or past its limitations. And he certainly, you know, obviously he has his limitations still, but he really does. He loves the work, and he's such a such a workhorse. So for you, what's the highlight every day about riding him? Oh, look, to be honest, his Piaf Passage Tour is, is, is my favourite, um, but I, I, I love the canter, um, but he's really fun to go hacking out. I take him up and down the hills. Um, he's, yeah, I haven't jumped him, but um, we do lots of trot poles, and he's just a great horse to be around. He has a super attitude. Um, I can see that. Yeah, he's like a pet. <laughs> So he's owned by Bluefield Stud? Yep, he's owned by Bluefield Stud in the Southern Highlands um, and we have both their um, older stallions with us. Berlin? Berlin, Elliot rides and then I have this guy. Um, and That'd be tough. Yeah, yeah, it's really tough. I, I, do, I, I do say sometimes, I'd really like a ride on your one and Elliot says, ah. Uh, he said, you can, we can swap. I'm like, no, no, I'm not swapping. I just want to ride. <laughs> yeah, so um, this is only about his fourth Grand Prix? This is his fourth Grand Prix. Amazing. And he's scored nothing under 66, a couple of 68s. Incredible. And uh, you're first on. Yeah, look, someone has to be. Um, I'm not, doesn't, it's not that it puts me off, but someone has to be first, so it's not, it doesn't matter. Just going to blow yeah. them away, I say. Hopefully. Yeah. So the future for him, what are your plans this year? Because it's just new this year. It's going to be a big year for you, obviously. It's a big year. Um, obviously, with this comp, Walinga, then Dresses with the Stars, CDI, and then there's another one in June down here. So, um, you know, I think we'll we'll just have a lot of fun while we're together, and I'll just see see where it see where it ends up. But he's, I love him. I, I appreciate him every day. I get to ride him. So you were extremely successful all the way through since you were a little kid, really, and then had that beautiful Wacker W. What a super horse he was for you. So with young riders coming up, you know, you you dream about this moment i mean it might be 40 degrees in here and like sweltering but you, what what what's in the future for you and what dreams do you have and what would you say to young guys that are interested i mean did you ever think you'd be riding grand prix on such a super horse at such a young age no and i, I am fortunate like i think this horse in particular is a once in a lifetime horse i am really lucky um but in, with luck comes you know, a lot of hard work and a lot of riding horses that you don't really always want to ride. Um, and I think I think there's you can just pursue with like with most horses. You can really you don't have to give up. You can you've got lots of trainers and lots of access to make them work. My old Grand Prix horse was pretty difficult, and he didn't he didn't find the Grand Prix work easy. So um, and not that I ever gave up on him, but you know eventually we got to Grand Prix, and I said, okay, well enough's enough. Like I got there for myself, um, but I wasn't going to keep pushing pushing him around to do something that it wasn't great for him yeah easy for him but I wanted to do it for myself this one's yeah. easy for him this one loves it um you know, yeah. yeah he says I do <laughs> and he's quite a character but I'm so lucky to have this horse like I I do appreciate that the owners entrust me with him um I think I hope that they're really happy with me riding him because it is a two-way street um but he's he's awesome he's great so the young riders looking for the future um 
I just I think take the take every opportunity that you can with both hands and run with it. Um, if you're offered a horse, you know, r- r- just go with it. Run run with what you're what you're offered and what what you and you make your own you make your own luck really. Hard work is the key to everything. Um, and unfortunately, if you think otherwise, I don't think you'd be in the industry very long. Thank you, Lisa. We, we hope 4.50, which is only an hour away, we should let you get ready. And uh, to Florino, thank you very much for your patience. And uh, good luck, and especially tomorrow in the freestyle. You yeah. never know. Yeah, yeah no, I, um, I, I am a bit of a... I, I, love, the, I love the test side of things, um, but the freestyle's lots of fun, and we'll see. We'll have, have a bit of fun out there. New kid on the block. New I'm looking on. forward to it. <laughs> good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much, Alexis Hellier and Florino from Bluefields.